So over time, we've offered many, many suggestions about reach for the thought that feels better and so forth, because that's a calibration. We've encouraged you to do focus wheels. That's a calibration. We've encouraged you when you feel good to get on a rampage of appreciation so that you really calibrate to what feels good. Everything that we've ever offered to you has been about you calibrating to who you really are. And of course, before you can calibrate to that note, to that vibration, you've got to first know that it exists. Do you? Do you know that you came forth from source and that that source part of you is still there offering a signal to which you can calibrate? Because if you can accept that, then everything else is easy for you. But if you haven't accepted that, then you are most likely, like most humans, calibrating to the loudest vibration in the room. That's what mobs are. <laughs> calibrating to the loudest vibration in the room. And sometimes you get confused because if you haven't beforehand taken the time to calibrate to your highest frequency, then the loudest note in the room will call you to it. And that's all right because as you get called to it, you have a feeling sensation. And this is what we really want you to know. You may accept it just because we say it. You may accept it because you knew it before we said it. You may accept it because nothing else makes sense to you. You may accept this. We want you to come to accept this. You are source energy and a part of you is here in this physical body. And the strongest calibration, the strongest signal that you are is one of pure love. One of knowing well-being, one of loving self and one of loving others. But that love word is so overused and so misunderstood that it's maybe not even the best word to use. The God word doesn't work either because so many of you think so many things about those things. So we don't want you to calibrate to a word. We want you to calibrate to a feeling. And we want you to do your best to decide that feeling good is a good thing. <laughs> that feeling good is a good thing. So what we're talking about incessantly is identifying a vibration a desired one and then isolating it by focusing on it and not other stuff and in doing so eventually calibrating to that frequency and now what's happened is you are one with you now What's the benefit of being one with you, with who you really are? You've been around a long time. You've been calibrating longer than there are human words to describe or human concepts to comprehend. You're old. <laughs> and that you that has become is pure, positive, energy and it is dominant that's why well-being abounds even if you won't admit it so this whole of who you are this pure positive energy of who you are this pure positive energy of who you are has a point of attraction law of attraction is responding to that you if you've been hanging around with us for a while you've heard us say we say it often one who is connected to this stream of well-being is more powerful than millions who are not. So that point of attraction is powerful, more powerful, hard to define how much more powerful. And we want you to contemplate for a moment with us why, why that part is so much more powerful in its point of attraction. Because there's no contradiction in the energy because the vibration has been identified and isolated and calibrated and so since there is no contradiction oh that signal is strong sometimes you calibrate to a signal that is not coming from source it's coming from fear or groups of people who are fear rivers and streams because every thought that's ever been thought still exists and the law of attraction manages those thoughts too 
so there are plenty of beliefs and thoughts and rivers and streams that humans think that if you're just bipping along not thinking anything and just slightly negative about your life experience you can easily because law of attraction will draw you there because law of attraction isn't doing what's best for you law of attraction is not even trying to do what's best for you the law of attraction is not your mother the law of attraction is an equal opportunity across the board responder to your vibration and a matcher of vibrations so if you are ornery about something the law of attraction will say here's some more here's some more here's some more it's just the way that it works you see so as the law of attraction is responding to everything that is abounding you have choices you can calibrate to wanted or unwanted but you can't all of a sudden after you've been calibrated after you've been noticing after you've been complaining after you've been observing do you know heard us say this many times if you've been hanging around with us most humans offer most of their vibrations in response to what they are observing which is a good thing if what you're observing feels good but it is not a good thing if what you're observing feels bad and if you've got the habit of observation then you're going to have a mixed bag and you're not going to be like your inner being who is consistently pure positive energy now that's okay you're not ever going to be that until you croak you're not ever going to be that until there is nothing in the physical realm that has your attention and you came to the physical realm intending to give your attention to things in the physical realm because calibrating to unwanted gives birth to what is wanted and that's the evolution of all species it's the expansion of the universe it's a good thing not a bad thing you just have to decide once you've taken that step one by knowing what you don't want and asking for more you just have to decide if you're willing to start looking toward what you're asking for or if you're going to stay in the defense mode of explaining to someone usually your mother why you want it that's what other humans do to you you say I would really like this and they say what makes you think you deserve that most of the world doesn't have that who do you think you are and you're usually not with it enough to say I'm source energy in a human body and I get what I want <laughs> you're usually not frisky enough to say oh well it's nice talking to you I think I'll go over here where I no longer have to talk to you because you you are seeking calibration from me because now why do you do that why do you why do they why does anybody why do you seek understanding of others why do you want them to get you why do you want them to get you because if they get you you feel better you feel better than if they don't get you we get that but why is it important for them to get you here's the answer here's our answer take it or leave it here's our answer the reason that you want humans to get you is because you've forgotten who really gets you you've lost track of what it feels like to really be tuned in so we don't want you to tune to this frequency we don't want you to calibrate to the frequency of source for the power of it although it is powerful beyond description we don't want you to calibrate to that for the power of it we want you to calibrate to that for the pleasure of it and stop looking for love in all the wrong places stop looking for it with somebody who's depressed or somebody who's jealous or somebody who's lost if you're walking along a mountain it's a nice great view <laughs> and you're not feeling all that stable and there are a couple of people with you one clumsy and dumb <laughs> chances are that person's going to walk right off the cliff and not even know it and then there's somebody else sure-footed and stable paying attention which one would you be glad was walking close to you and we're just saying your inner being your source is not just walking close to you is all over you surrounding you infused in you flowing through your streams your air streams and your blood streams and your vibrational streams you are so understood and so loved and so wrapped in this stable love 
But if you're focused upon something that's a different frequency, you don't know it. And you see, it's your perception that matters. Your inner being can love you unequivocally as your inner being does eternally. But if you don't know it, you don't get the benefit of it. If you know something else, you're blocking that. If a tree falls in the forest and there's no one there to hear it, did it make a sound? Nope. It made a vibration. But if there isn't an ear there to translate the vibration into what you call sound, there was no sound. There was vibration. So you got to tune to the frequency of source before you have that knowing the existence of your source within you is only meaningful to you when you know about the existence of your source and you calibrate frequently to it. And you know, the more you calibrate to the frequency of your source, the better you'll feel first of all, but then something else happens. People used to say to us in the early days when we would encourage meditation and they would begin meditating sometimes for the first time in their life. And then they would say to us, Abraham, is it normal for all hell to break loose in my life when I begin meditating? And we would say, yep. <laughs> because as you calibrate to that frequency of who you really are, when you're not calibrated to that frequency, you notice it more. The more you are that loving being that you are, the more painful it is to be otherwise. You just get so you can't stand it, you see. And then what happens to so many of you, you begin associating that discomfort with the people or experiences, usually experiences that include people, <laughs> that are present when you feel the discomfort. And then you think it's their fault. <laughs> because before they were there, you didn't feel this way. So they should change. <laughs> They should do something different so that you can feel better. And that's what we mean by calibrating to things that are unstable. We're not talking smack about humans. Well, we sort of are. <laughs> you're blessed and you're beautiful and you're magnificent and you are a balance of contrast just like you knew you would be. So let's go back to this business of when you see something that you like and you focus on it, it feels so good. But then when you see something that you don't like and you focus on it, it feels so bad. Let's talk about the disadvantage of looking for feeling good in that way. Because as you look for it there, as you look for it there and find it, now you're holding that person responsible to hold you in their gaze. They got to be stable. So you're not giving them the opportunity to have their own expansion. You're not giving them the opportunity to calibrate. You're saying, get calibrated and focus on me <laughs> because I only have the ability to get my juices from you. And it's not long before you resent them for a number of reasons. First of all, they don't have the ability to only focus on you. And then you feel like something that has been tethered that isn't. And next of all, they can never provide the satisfaction that you will feel when you hook into who you really are. So love them, but don't need them. <laughs>